Abscast. How did you um? How did you get into it? What's what's the story there for anyone who's kind of interested in journalism or sports writing or anything? How how does somebody start in that progression to get into that into that world? So I think my route was probably quite different because I figured out quite late that I wanted to go into journalism. And then only when I was doing my master's in journalism, I realized actually sport is where I want to be. So I did an undergrad in philosophy. Then I moved back home to Manchester after university and I, I had no idea what job I wanted to do because I didn't really have I was good at writing essays and I was good at arguing and debating, but there weren't like that many transferable skills from that degree. And I kind of just thought like, what do I enjoy doing the most? And what I enjoy doing the most is talking, writing, having, you know, having conversations. And I think, well, the perfect way to do that is to do a journalism master's. So I went to London, packed up my things, went down south, did my journalism master's. And obviously that was interrupted by COVID which was a massive shame because we had all these really big plans. There's like a thing at the end of the Masters called Multimedia Fortnite, which is going to be like this amazing event of like fort a fortnight of like different industry leaders coming in and assessing your work. And obviously we couldn't do any of that, but I got really lucky that one of the radio shows that we were doing as part of the course, one of the heads at TalkSport joined the Zoom call to kind of make up for the lack of this Multimedia Fortnite. So he joined. And I remember afterwards, I think I just followed him on Twitter sent him a DM and said, like, can I come in for a tour of the studio one day? Went in. They were really, really accommodating, really, really nice. Got on with them really well. And then I got home that night, and I think about four hours later, one of the management texted me saying, can you come in next week to start some work? And that was just kind of answering the phones to listeners, and I did that for about six months and then moved up to production. That's, <clears throat> that's pretty unbelievable. That was one of the things I was going to ask you about because with such a relatively short career as you were saying you were sort of finishing your masters at around the time of covid and all that kind of thing to then jump into and be so sought after for one of a better term that you're on two of the flagship mainstream broadcasters radio and tv in such a short space of time that's unbelievable it's uh, uh, it's kind of like it's almost like serendipity like right place right time covid this guy just so happened to be part of your course and then yeah and here you are. It's 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 mad. I mean, truthfully, it doesn't feel like it's been that quick. There's been a lot of like slogging to go through. And even now, because I'm freelance, you know, I will go and you know, I've got to tell the truth here, I will go like five, six days without any work just because that is the nature of freelance reporting and you just have to say yes to everything. So it has been a massive slog, but the new opportunity and getting on kind of every Thursday morning on Sky is literally like what dreams are made of for me. Obviously, I've grown up watching it. And it's been absolutely amazing. And as you say, I think this industry and I think journalism in general, but specifically sports journalism, there just is a lot of luck involved. There's a lot of nepotism involved, like there is in most industries. But there is a lot of luck. You know, there are times where one of the main reporters just hasn't been able to do something, particularly at TalkSport. And someone said, well, will you just go down? All you have to do is record a little two-minute piece. And then that goes well. And you've got such a big listenership on that show. Put it on LinkedIn, put it on Twitter, and different people just kind of pick up on it so i have definitely been lucky but but it's been um it's been quite a hard slog and it doesn't feel like it's been that short a career i've got to be honest <laughs>